Scarlett Johansson does not have a pig nose. She's very deep. My number is 253. Hey guys, this is Ginger and the Noob, and uh, my wife's in the background laughing. That's just great. Thanks, honey. Yeah, we're recording right now. Go to you the bedroom. You can't see it, but she's wearing Captain America <laughs> shield pants. So, and then I don't know if you noticed this. There's a little civil war going on. There's a civil war between me and my wife. She couldn't go to the movie tonight. <laughs> but this is uh, a review for uh, Avengers: Age Avengers, of Ultron. Yes, exactly. And yeah, go into the kitchen, honey. Thank you. <laughs> it's not really helping. Um, there's the, there is going to be some spoilers. We'll try. I'll try to cut it to where the spoilers are at the end of the video. But there will be spoilers in this review. Um, you'll have a warning. You'll have a warning. I'll try to do something in editing. Uh, but okay, this is. With the plot of this of the Avengers, it was uh, it was actually at least it flowed. It was it had slow, slow parts, but the plot itself was really good. It was like it, just like the first one. It carried throughout, and it carried all its characters with it. But um, but there was a couple parts where it was just kind of like okay, every every every. Yeah, a every. little bit too much talking. Some of the this, it was they had some moments where it could have been cut out or edited or something more interesting versus just jibber-jabber between the different yeah. team members. I'm all for banter, but if the banter's not going to actually lead to a point, mm -hmm. get it out of there. I mean, I, I, I know Tony Stark's witty, and he's gonna, he's, gonna, the whole yeah, he's gonna be throwing his quips out, mm -hmm. but when he's throwing quips out, but the, the scene isn't going anywhere, he's just, the whole scene is just his point of, I'm just gonna throw quips all th through the whole scene. It's like, ah. But, it's tiring after a while. Yeah, but it's, I mean, like, but overall, it's good. It was what I expected out of a sequel. It wasn't like, oh my gosh, you know, the Avengers are back, oh gosh. It was like, it was like, it was like oh cool, exciting, and I was entertained through the whole thing. So and that's what it kept me going. Um, it was a cohesive, it flowed well. Um, I think they had some good references um, throughout the movie to different aspects of the Marvel Universe and some of the comic books. What did you think of uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch? I liked the look of Scarlet Witch a lot. Um, I think the actress, I don't even know her name. <laughs> Elizabeth is the name of the actress? Yeah, Elizabeth Scarlet Olsen. Witch, right? Yeah. Yeah, Elizabeth Olsen. Oh, Elizabeth Olsen. Olsen. She did a great job portraying that character, definitely. Um, is she related with the Olsen twins? She's oh, their she's older sister. sister. Oh. oh, shit. So the, the Olsens <laughs> do, there is some talent in that gene pool. <laughs> So, okay. But, okay, go ahead. But, uh, Quicksilver, eh. I don't, yeah, but, I didn't really like his portrayal. I definitely did not like his look. Um, it just looked too, like, messy, and his hair was horrible. <laughs> oh, my yeah, goodness. And the, the Under Armour yeah. kind of uh, outfit he had. Did they sponsor that? I don't know. It's, it's, it's sure it popped like up it. throughout the movie. <laughs> um, yeah, eh. And his accent, she was a little better. She she did a good job with the accent, you know. But um, but yeah, he he was a little, he was a little yeah. rough. Um, Go back to kick ass. Kick ass was a lot better. <laughs> well, if you compare the two different ones from uh, the X Men and yeah, and this the one, Avengers, yeah, this I, a, the yeah, the the X Men, I think. Got Silver was great. I, I really him enjoyed it. him and his the portrayal of him in that in that in the X Men version versus the Marvel one. But I preferred the Scarlet Witch from the Avengers: mm -hmm. Age of Ultron definitely a lot more. Yeah. Um, what were your thoughts on the twins? Uh, the twins. And uh, the Avengers. Uh, uh, his accent. Don't see that coming. Like this whole like this Ivan Drago, Rocky IV, I will break you kind of shit. This is like this. Cold War esque kind of fucking, I don't know. CG and stuff was kind of fun with his little trails that he left behind, but his his voice act, the, the whole voice acting was like, eh, okay, put it to bed. Uh, her, um, yeah, she was alright. I was like, mm, got him in there. I wanted her to do when she did exactly what I wanted her to do. She she messed with all their heads, and then she was friends with them. So that's exactly how it goes. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
quite the motions she had when she was yeah, using her Yeah, she power. was very, uh, <laughs> <laughs> very interpretive dance. Yes. So, False. Vision. 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 He was, uh... I really liked how they portrayed him. Um, I liked how they kind of gave him the facial features of, um, Jarvis from Agent Carter. I also mm -hmm. don't know his name. I'm a horrible person with names, if you haven't noticed yet. <laughs> um... But the what Jarvis was based off of, basically, yeah, yeah. And, and I mean, I just love that. And then Paul Bentney doing a great job, yes. as, as always. As now about Hawkeye, oh. he's got he's gotten some more more stuff going. Definitely on. a lot more screen time, and now he's not like a like not like a third cast actor. You know what <laughs> I'm a background yeah. actor. Yeah, it's, he's <laughs> actually you know they're developing his character, which is, to me, it feels it's a little late in the game, but I really like that he had more time on the screen and you actually got to know him better. He is a badass. Yeah. And, and he's I'm, snarky and has, yeah, a, has he's a, got, a mouth. Yeah, exactly. And finally, you got to kind of get a glimpse of that and see his uh, his secret that he's been keeping, and I won't spoil that now <laughs> because this is the pre-spoiler part. Okay, we'll put this on pre-spoiler. Yes. <laughs> we'll just jump back. Pre-spoiler. Okay. So now we can get into spoiler territory. Stop watching. <laughs> spoilers, stop. <laughs> Unless you want to watch the spoilers, or if you've already seen it, you want to hear what we say. So go ahead and watch, <laughs> but not, don't. You have been warned. You cut it off here. Okay. Quicksilver. <laughs> he dies. Why? How do you feel about that? Yeah. I don't feel like much of a loss to him, no offense, not in this, not with this portrayal. Same, same here. I'm like, okay, huh, he took him away. Now at least we get Scarlet Witch and the Vision, maybe they can start later on having their little relationship and stuff with the Avengers. Now what do you think about Tony, Tony Stark leaving the Avengers at the end of the film? I think they're both going, well, him and Captain America are both going their separate ways to do what they believe is right. And so that's kinda, pretty much, I mean, it kind of... I mean, that's the point of the team, though. It's when peace happens, even if, as temporary as it might be. I mean, they're going to kind of break up. And then so the... I'm thinking also that Tony, you know, he's going to be going the bureaucratic way. He's going to go, like, he's going to go start, you know, just doing his business and then at the same time probably uh, pushing uh, pushing his way through politics through this and stuff because they're going to find out a lot more that there's a lot more powers out there. There's a lot more uh, people with powers and stuff like they're showing in... Mm -hmm. Uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., the Inhumans are starting to show up and stuff, so you're going to start getting more flavor of that, and then that's where probably the Registration Act's going to come in. But, I mean, so you're getting little flavors of Civil War, but nothing heavy towards Civil War. Nothing heavy yet, but just, like, little inklings, little, like, sprinklings around in, in the movie. Uh, oh, the Hulk and uh, Scarlet Witch. Uh, not Scarlet Witch, uh, Scarlet Johansson. Puh, Black Widow. The Hulk and Black Widow. There we go. Hulk and Black Widow. Yeah, they're, they're getting it on. They're doing this kind of thing. Not really. They, they want to. They want to do this. Do they? Well, she does. <laughs> she wants the key. Or it's like, like uh, the key. Uh, yeah, as what Tony zucchini. Stark said, you know, hide the zucchini. So, <laughs> she, she does. At least with one of them. One of the, either Banner or the Hulk. She... She seems to be going, now flip-floppy through that. And I'm not talking about Hulks, you know. Yeah, not that kind of flip-floppy. But, um, maybe. Yeah, so the, their relationship. I didn't care much for them. I don't care much for Scarlett Johansson's portrayal. <laughs> she just hates Scarlett Johansson. She thinks she has a pig nose and is ugly. For some reason, I don't. Know. Her her face is not is not attractive to me, and I do admit there are plenty of people that I find attractive and females, even though I'm not really into females. But I will admit if she's hot, she's pretty, whatever. And Scarlett Johansson is none of those. I think it's just a redhead thing. I don't like. She just. She's not like a redhead. <laughs> she is in the movie. So <laughs> <laughs> there've been other plenty of movies she's been in that I really did not like her in. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> um, but overall, this movie turned out to be really good, um, and I, it's like it's making me look forward to them progressing the MCU even further. Um, there was no, there was nothing in this movie that made me go like, 
wow, they really screwed up there. Or anything that can't be either fixed if there was a little problem or some, something that can be fixed in the future. It's like, nope. Did all the different fight sequences. That was pretty cool. I mean, you yeah. saw a lot of moves that weren't previously shown, and there were moments where I was like, wow, that's very creative on how they did that. And it was quite impressive, and their uh, CGI effects are pretty good. Um, I kind of wish that the different, uh, like Avengers, whoever's in, you know, the main focus of that, of that shot, I wish it was sometimes uh, like where you could not distinguish if it was real or fake. Mm -hmm. You could still see it was computerized. Yeah. I mean, but they did a great job, and the graphics are pretty good. I mean, for for the amount that they had to go through. Yeah, and the Definitely. I just I love the major fight sequences with the whole ensemble because mm -hmm. when they, they just do that pan that panning with the camera, and then you're getting to see every mm -hmm. character doing some kind of move and flipping around, vision flying up and taking out another one. <laughs> and you got Scarlet Witch. Whoosh! Uh, with red sparklers. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but no, like when they go around in the circles and stuff in slow mo, doing mm -hmm. the whole Zack Snyder, you know, three hundred thing, uh, that, that that was that was uh, cool. And then you could see with the slow motion how like everybody was in there was their character. They weren't pretending to be that character. They're actually in that role and in that Zen doing what they were supposed to do. And and, yeah, and seeing that they were a cohesive, a cohesive team. Exactly. They, they yep. knew that they, they they obviously trained in certain battle maneuvers and mm -hmm. stuff to know that like. When I'm swinging like this, so oh, they know Hulk, okay, he's slamming down like that, so I'm going to fly over him this way, and it was very, like, tactical. Yes, and then also I think um, since everybody's had enough time to work with each other, I think they've actually gotten to know everybody, well, each other and how everybody works together, which definitely you could see in this movie, because in the first one, you could see where there's, like, some little odd moments between the different actors, mm -hmm. but this one, everybody was feeding off of each other and, and kept going, and it was great. Obviously live with each other, and they're close to each other, and... And per practically a family, yeah. so that was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Well, if you had to give it a rating, if I had to give it a rating, I would give it what? one out of what? Hmm. I would say four Thor hammers out of five. Okay. That's about my rating too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why? Uh, for me, I took down a. I guess a hammer, um, because there were those moments where I just felt like they were dragging on too long, and then there's parts in the movie, as good as it was, it's just like, oh, this is taking forever, and it's mostly because of those small, short, you know, little scenes where it's like they could have cut it out and saved everybody a little bit of time. I mean, you could see the banter, you could see how everybody interacts with each other. I mean, they they did have some funny lines, but some of it was just not necessary. I mean, it was just. Yeah. A little bit too much. It didn't work toward. It didn't work towards any goal. Yeah. I mean, unless for some reason in the future, that in, in another film that it, it it relates to that somewhere. Right at this moment, it was kind of like, okay, this is not going where they're just kind of like, hey, like when Scarlett Johansson's the character of Black Widow is talking to uh, uh, Ruffalo, and it's like they're just in that party, and then they're mm -hmm. just kind of flirting with each other. It's like, okay, we get it. That there's a co connection, but we don't need to spend five minutes of them just kind of like, hey, baby. Hey, how's it going? Oh, I'm not really getting. I'm a little, uh, you know, you're kind of getting coming on to me, uh, Black Widow. It's like, okay, I get that. You know, mm -hmm. you don't need five minutes for that. No. So, but other, but overall, that's yeah, that's what took off one hammer for me was was ma uh, a lot of unneeded dialogue. But other than that, go Avengers. Simple. No, I don't like it. I love you, Scarlett.